Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Martin. I work as a delivery driver working with Deliveroo, Justy, Uber Eats, Stuart, um, and I do parcel runs as well for every and Amazon, very rarely, but still do it. Um, so today this video is about the new announcement that's been made by the government. It's been on the gov.uk website about the uh, the company's Deliveroo, Justy and Uber Eats. Uh, agreeing with the government that they need to put in some extra security checks to prevent illegal working. So basically uh, to try and prevent people from renting accounts. So in this video, rather than looking at my ugly mug, what I'm going to do is go through the article, pick out a few things that I think might be interesting to look at um, and just react to what the companies are saying. Um, I'm trying to work out whether they actually are trying to make a change or whether it's just lip service to um a piece of government basically so um if you've got any opinions please pop it in the comments down below what i'll do is i'll keep each screen grab that i've got from the article on the screen for a while so you've got a chance to read it if not obviously just pause the video um and then catch up what i've got to say after the first thing it's saying is it's saying that delivery uber eats and just Eat have committed with the government to make significant steps uh to end the exploitation of account sharing so it says that all three firms have committed to uh, changing their processes to confirm that a substitute uh, riders have the right to work legally in the uk with the delivery being the first to roll out a new substitute registration feature which obviously we've already seen i've covered in another video However, I'm not sure how this is going to work with Stuart, uh, with Deliveroo, sorry. See, what they've already said is that you have to register your substitute and they will have to do selfie checks in the same way that uh, we, the account holder, does. Now, the only problem I've got that is that I'm only asked to do a selfie check about once every three or four weeks. Um, so how is that going to work? Because if you're only being asked to do a selfie check every three or four weeks, what's to stop somebody from just not registering their substitute? Is the account now going to be changed so it's linked to a telephone number or I'm not sure. So government ministers have said that they're committed to cracking down on unchecked account sharing, i.e. no more renting accounts online, which is great if they come through with it. Another thing I found quite interesting and quite truthful to be fair is uh, that the minister has said is that illegal working puts their customers at risk, drives down wages and defrauds to the taxpayer obviously because they're not going to be paying tax because they don't have right to work in the uk it's vital that we shut down the loophole that allows it to happen so they seem to be very serious about trying to make this happen this is not first time that they've spoken to deliver uber and just eat about it so i wonder if this will actually start ending now ending account sharing so what have the delivery companies got to say about this? So a delivery spokesper spokesperson has said, we take our responsibilities extremely seriously and committed to strengthening our controls to prevent, prevent misuse of our platform. Um, well, let's hope that that's true because their platform is probably the most misused one. Looking online at Facebook, you can rent a delivery account quite quickly from what I can see. Um, but hopefully that will change. So they also say that the first major platform to roll out direct work to work right to work checks, a registration process and identity ver verification technology to ensure that only substitutes of the right to work can continue riding on our platforms. Well, um, as said, I think that's really good in uh, theory, uh, but how are they going to make it happen in real life? Are they going to, I think the selfie checks, they need to be more frequent. As said, mine come through about every three or four weeks. I feel like to really make a difference, they need to be not just once a day, but probably three or four times a day. That way you can't keep bothering the person who owns the account to take a selfie every five minutes. Um, but I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to come up with a different idea to try and make this happen in real life? Uh, Uber Eats are saying, at Uber Eats, we are going to roll out an identity verification checks to help ensure only people who legitimately use somebody else's account can earn with us and are able to and we are pleased to be working with the government to find a solution um obviously uber does have selfie checks but again it's um the same thing as delivery they're very very uh few and far between uh so again i feel like they need to if they're really serious about it they need to make it so it's a few times a day um and there's no announcement from uber yet about um how they're going to register people 
and Just D have said, we take our responsibilities on this issue seriously and have high expectations for couriers delivering on our behalf, which is why we're continuing our work together with the industry and policymakers to develop a solution which will ensure couriers substituting their work do so in accordance with the law. Again, there's um, a lot of words, but not a lot of substance there. So we'll wait and see what Just Eat and Uber uh, plan to do. Um, but what do you guys reckon? Um, do you reckon they're actually going to make a real effort at trying to stamp this out? Um, it also goes on to say that um, enforcement visits rose by 68% last year and arrests almost doubled. So there's definitely uh, seems to be a lot of people abusing these platforms um, to basically earn money when they shouldn't be. Um, I almost feel bad making videos like this because it almost makes me feel like I'm, I don't know, like a racist or um, I've got a problem with immigration or something like that. It's not about that for me. It's about why is it that we as uh, an industry seem to be taking so much of the uh, responsibility for I mean obviously it's driving all our wages down um, so I, th I do think it needs to change I don't know whether they need to properly license it like taxi drivers do um, but I think if the delivery companies don't do something soon they will um, the government are going to step in See, the other issues I haven't touched upon in this is the fact that substitutes won't have been DBS checked and a lot of the times I hear people saying that they are on a bicycle account that they're renting and they're driving around in a car which is obviously they're not insured properly um, meaning that the rest of us are stumping up uh, the extra insurance costs because I've spoken to the insurance companies they told me that insurance uh, is quite high with delivery drivers because the amount of people not doing it properly but I'm really interested to hear what you guys think, whether you think they're actually going to do something about it properly now or whether the government's going to step in or do you think nothing's going to change whatsoever? What do you guys think? Um, I'll be really interested to know. If you've enjoyed the video, then please obviously drop a like, comment, subscribe if you want uh, more information like this. Um, until next time, I shall wish you adieu.